Hi, and welcome to Davis Sports Report. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Davis Sports Report. I am very late to this story, so my apologies. I got several calls last week asking if I was going to cover this story. And uh, as you can probably hear in my voice, my allergies are trying to take me out. So I, I am uh, making an effort to get it to you, though. So here I am. And what I'm talking about is Kaylin Clark uh, getting some pretty nasty messages from some of her Instagram followers, fans, um, that are no longer followers. So let's kind of get into some of those messages and what happened with Caitlin on last week. So one of the first messages is goodbye, Caitlin. Canceled league pass. What the H was I thinking? That spell is gone. We lost another great baller. One of the best I've seen as a woman. I only started watching because of her outstanding skills, but now she's involved in politics of the Democrats. I'm moving on to something else. We also had another message. Um, if you like Kamala, I don't like you. Bye. You do realize she hates women's sports, right? I don't know where that came from, but okay. <laughs> Moving on to the next one is, I noticed you like Taylor Swift's endorsement post of Kamala Lear and eh, Tim. I figured you were more based and aware. Bummer. Moving on to the next post, uh, you'd be great if you just kept your mouth shut. We're getting a little bit of uh, shut up and dribble on that one, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just not even going to read that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one is get out of politics. Don't be that celebrity, just play ball. Okay. And so disappointed that you got involved in politics. Not a smart business move. Then we have take advice from MJ. He never got involved in politics. Best thing he ever did. I'm so confused. Did you not think you were like her? I, did you not think when you liked her post? Who told you this was a good idea? Uh, so this all started with Caitlin Clark liking a post that Taylor Swift posted last week after the presidential debate. And in short, that post was uh, Taylor Swift stating that she is throwing her support behind the Democratic candidates. Um, but the bigger part of the post that I think, and this is just me, I think Kaylin was more so zoned in on is that last paragraph here that states, I've done my research and I've made my choice. Your research is all yours to do and the choice is yours to make. I also want to say, especially to first time voters, remember that in order to vote, you have to be registered. I also find it much easier to vote early. I link, I'll link where to register and find early voting dates and info in my story. With love and hope, Taylor Swift, childless cat lady. And that was kind of a dig at someone calling uh, Kamala the childless cat lady. And again, for me, I think that was what Caitlin was zoning in on. And Caitlin did give her own response on that. And let's go ahead and hear what Caitlin had to say. Indiana Fever Guard Caitlin Clark responding after liking an endorsement of Vice President Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. That endorsement came from Taylor Swift. Now, Clark liked the endorsement on Instagram, which Swift issued minutes after the uh, last week's, this week's presidential debate, I should say, after last night's game, Clark was asked if she planned on endorsing Harris and Waltz. I have this amazing platform, so I think the biggest thing would be just encourage people to register to vote. Um, I think for myself, this is the second time I can vote in an election. At age 22, I could vote when I was 18, so um, I think do that. That's the biggest thing I can do with the platform that I have, and that's the same thing Taylor did. Um, and I think continue to educate yourself um, with the candidates that we have, the policies that they're supporting. So that was basically it. Kaylin did not endorse any candidates. She basically said, do your research and see, you know, who aligns with your beliefs and your values. Um, again, she is only 22. <laughs> you know, I feel like um, she's getting a lot of heat. And I say that. Um, not really dismissing what happened when she first came into the league and people were using her kind of as a pawn, I felt like anyways, um, 
for other reasons, right? Uh, they really went after Angel Reese really hard. Caitlin didn't really come forth and say a lot. I, I know that we have seen that her and Angel have both said they don't have issues with each other, but a lot of her supporters and fan base was using her to push a different kind of uh, view narrative. And I think they assumed things about her. Um, in assuming those things, I think this shocked them. <laughs> you know, the fact that she would even like a post by Taylor Swift, even though, like I said, she didn't endorse anybody. She she made no endorsements of any candidates. We don't know who she's going to vote for when she goes into that booth as a private citizen and makes her vote. My question to you guys is, what do you think about the heat that she's getting? And, and so once she... I just want to point this out. Once she started getting that hate from a lot of her fan base, there were a lot of aunties that came through to, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, thumbs up her comment and show her some love. And for those that don't know what an auntie is, what I'm <laughs> referring to is a, uh, a black woman of a certain age. We call them aunties as well as other supporters. She did get a lot of new support because of this. And it was mostly because they felt like she was being bullied by um, making a statement or um, even, you know, just something as simple as liking someone else's post. A lot of people felt like she was getting bullied on her Instagram. So a lot of you know, people came through to, you know, show their support to her and let her know that, you know, you're loved and continue to be you. Um, there was the comments and I think we all can remember the Megan, I think her name was Megan Kelly with the LeBron James thing saying, shut up and dribble. You guys think it is okay for basketball players or athletes in general to be able to use their platform to say what it is that they believe what their beliefs are uh, politically or, or otherwise. Um, do you think there's a place for that in sports and athletes? I personally feel like they're, you know, a person just like me. And if, you know, if I have freedom to speech, they should as well. Or do you think it's going to hurt her brand? Um, sort of like the one comment said about Michael Jordan. Um, for those of us that have been around for a while, we remember Michael Jordan saying Republicans buy shoes also. So he looked at this as more of a business exchange. So he did not get into politics for those reasons. His business went, meant more to him than social um, and politics. So when I say that, I mean, um, there are a lot of athletes like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Joe Brown, that um, were very outspoken. Um, a lot of track stars from back in the day that were very outspoken about politics and um, and social uh, things that happen within the United States. But again, I want to bring this from a sports perspective because we are a sports channel and I want to know what your thoughts are. Um, do you feel sorry for Caitlin or do you kind of feel like um, this was going to happen eventually um, as a lot of her fan base did seem to be pushing a certain narrative about her. So I would love to hear your comments, guys. Uh, let's keep this conversation going. Again, I apologize for being so late to the conversation. I am trying to nurse this throat and get better. And I thank you so much for watching. And I love to read your comments in the comments section below. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for joining us. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.